And the other thing that I'd like to mention is that when people have type 2 inflammation, they actually have worse disease. So they would have more of that moderate to severe asthma, moderate to severe eczema, and moderate to severe COPD. So there's lots of conditions that actually when they're mediated by this type 2 inflammation, present themselves in more severe ways because those party planners are so good at bringing in all of that chaos and all of that inflammation. Yes, I feel like my body has one too many party planners. So this has been really interesting to hear. And for me, who definitely has some type 2 inflammation going on, and for other people, why why is this such an important thing for us to know about our bodies? Why is it important for people to know what type 2 inflammation is and why they have it? Yes. So again, when we know that you have this type of inflammation, it actually helps us pick the right type of medications that will help reduce the inflammation or swelling in your body. And it also helps us understand that people may have more than one condition, and it's mediated by that same type of inflammation. So for example, you have eczema and asthma. And so both of those things are mediated likely by the type 2 inflammation that's occurring in your body. That is exactly why I'm excited about this series. It feels very sciencey and it feels a little overwhelming. But honestly, I feel like as a patient, if I had known about type 2 inflammation and the connections that it has, like you've been talking about, my journey maybe could have been a little bit shorter or maybe a little bit 